Soylent is people. It explores what's possible when we start embedding humans, paid crowd workers, into our interfaces. Soylent is an add-in for Microsoft Word that gets human help to support tasks that Word can't do well, shortening, proofreading, and open-ended editing via macros. It does this by recruiting workers on Amazon's Mechanical Turk service to solve hard AI problems for just a few cents. Each member of the crowd does a little bit of work, so it's like having tens or hundreds of people help you write your document. One of Soylent's features is called Shorten. Shorten helps writers cut down their text. It's tough to trim a document to meet a size limit, it takes time, and it's hard to look objectively at your own writing. Shorten asks Mechanical Turk workers to find parts of the document that can be cut down without changing your meaning, and then offer a few rewrites. Its interface gives you direct control over the length of the text. Drag the slider to specify the length you want for your paragraph, and Shorten combines the edits to match. We've shortened text ranging from blogs, academic papers, and rambling emails, and we got cuts down to about 85% of the input each time. We paid workers about $1.50 per paragraph. You can pay less, but you'll wait longer for workers to pick up your tasks since they're less lucrative. We got it down to about 30 cents. Crowdproof is a distributed human proofreading service. Microsoft Word misses all sorts of obvious grammar errors that humans can catch. Crowdproof finds these errors, explains in plain English what the problem is, and offers anywhere from one to five rewrites. We've used Crowdproof to clean up texts like non-native English writing, bad Wikipedia pages, and paragraphs full of errors that Word can't find. Word finds about 30% of the errors in these texts, Crowdproof finds about two-thirds of them, and fixes about 90% of the errors it finds. Last is the Human Macro, a natural language crowd scripting interface. Usually users would need to translate their ideas into code, which is tough. Instead, the Human Macro lets you automate complex actions by describing what you want naturally, in words. Launching the Human Macro opens a request form where you can write what you want, like you would a Craigslist post. Our goal here is to keep users from launching buggy commands, so we show a live preview of what the request will look like and let the user do a test run on a single paragraph or sentence. Our users have gotten the Human Macro to transform a short story from past tense to present tense, to find Creative Commons licensed images to describe a paragraph, and to flesh out citation sketches into a real references section. 